I fashion myself a bit of a deal maker. The deal I'm most proud of is the one I made with my neighbor's son. Every night at eight, he walks across his lawn to give me the vegetables he pretended to eat at dinner. And in return, I don't tell his father. However, unbeknownst to him, I too have not been eating the vegetables. Instead, I have been storing them in large garbage bags. And when the time is right, I will expose our little secret to his father. Over the past four years, I have patiently been biding my time, waiting for the perfect moment to unleash my secret weapon. And tonight is the night! As earlier today, the boy betrayed me! Now, I must return the favor in a way that can only be described as Shakespearean! Oh, hey, Rick. Hello. Is your son home? Excuse me? I'm hoping we can all sit in the living room and have a little chat. What exactly do you... There's something I need to tell you! Jesus, okay, okay. Uh, Jacob, can you come downstairs? Can I get you something to drink? What's going on? Rick, what are you doing here? <coughs> what is that? Rick, why did you bring a bag of garbage in here? For years, your son... That boy has been pretending to eat his vegetables, when instead, he's been giving them to me! What the hell? Why are you dumping garbage on my floor? It's your son's garbage! We had a deal! And you ripped it to shreds when you spat gum on my lawn this morning while waiting for the bus! What is going on? You know what? Just get out of my house. Yes! Be gone, Jacob! Wander this neighborhood alone in exile! I'm talking about you, Rick! What's that noise? Your child has been doing this for four years! And now Judgment Day is here! Oh my god, are those vegetables too? Well, aren't you going to punish him? Maybe give me his favorite toy as a souvenir? Maybe you should take away his bed! <laughs> Burn his shoes! Shave his head! The boy must repent for what he's done! Get out of my house before I call the cops! Fine! What are you doing? I'm putting the vegetables back in the bag in case the opportunity arises again. <laughs> Jacob, I still expect to see you at 8 p.m. Get the fuck out! You That night, I returned home to discover I was locked out of my house. Nevertheless, I still went to sleep on my front lawn with a smile on my face and the smell of years old vegetables from next door tickling my nose. It was the best sleep of my life. Another successful deal.